We're going to be kicking things off in just a second with Monster Trucks Nitro, a game from miniclip.com that sucks. Uh, it's basically Trials Bike with Monster Trucks, and I know that might sound fun, but just wait till we get to the game. <laughs> just wait till we get to the game. The siren. Woo! All right. So the little donation alarm's going off. We got $5 from regular Magic Unicorn saying, Happy Extra Life Day 2. Thank you for the thank you for that. And regular Magic Unicorn actually came in clutch and donated quite a lot yesterday. So that five dollars is just like happy happy day too. Hopefully hopefully it's not a curse. Don't put a hex on me, regular Magic Unicorn. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Coming up first is a game uh, called Monster Trucks Nitro. Now obviously this is another game that is uh, that is dedicated to my brother Reflex. Uh, not necessarily because it's a good game, but because it's a game that we uh, that we played and mutually disliked. Um, we we were a big fan of the miniclip.com monster trucks game, the side the old school side scrolling climb over the rocks game, and uh, that game was a hit. Miniclip got a sequel. Candy Stand commissioned the same company to get their own monster truck game, and Candy Stands was better. I'm just going to come out and say it. It was more stable, and you could customize, like, all the parts of the truck, which was ridiculous. And you could drive the Juicy Fruit truck. Mini Clip ain't got a Juicy Fruit truck. Or a Big Red truck. If you don't chew Big Red, then fuck you. I'm Ricky Bobby. So, uh, Monster Trucks Nitro is, uh, is a game that came out for PC... And I, the, the version I have is a promotional version that was given out during Christmas time a long time ago on the Miniclip website. So if you would like to download it, it is part of the Gatorbox secret stash. Go to gator.co slash secret stash to pick up a copy of it. Uh, it's under games. Um, and uh, it's essentially a, it's, it's 2.5D. It's Trials Bike. You guys know the Trials Bike games made by Red Links. This, this, this is the same developer. The only difference is that instead of guys on motocross bikes, it's monster trucks. That's it. We're going to be playing through most of the game with the Formula One uh, monster truck, with the exception of one level, because this game is designed so well that some of the bonus monster trucks cannot complete some of the levels because the of the geometry of the truck is is all fucked up and it gets hung up on things like i said it's a good game so uh let's switch on over let me turn on the siren woo woo zahando has donated 25 dollars and saying yo today is my birthday and gay for aliens on tuesday we love you and that you're doing it for a good cause and these levels hang on and these levels were made by kids I can't read that sentence and not do that mentally. So that actually brings us to 1463 before we start. Let's update that number. Let's put it... Donations! Put it in the cornucopia. It's, it's around Thanksgiving time. It's, 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 it's time for that meme to come back. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to race. We're going to go to improve, improve our time. So you can you can play as either the mini clip truck or the red links truck and then you notice in the middle there's a formula one truck there's a, a truck that looks like a pig and then there's a big school bus uh the school bus is is unlocked through the promotional version of the game or using the cheat code yellow monster on the cheats page uh the game gives you the code for the piggy truck when you play it and then the Formula One truck, you normally have to get a gold in every level to unlock it, but it's unlocked by default in the promotional version of the game. So the only car not unlocked automatically is the pig, and we're not going to drive as the pig because it sucks. It's a piece of shit truck. It has a very high center of gravity, and just keeping its wheels on the ground is just... It, it, it takes an effort, okay? So we're going to play as the Formula One truck up until one specific race. Then we're going to hop on over into the Mini Clip truck. And then we're going to hop back into the Formula One truck. All right? So here we go. Miniclip.com, Monster Trucks, Nitro, and three, two, one, trucks.
I do like that the game just conveys the controls by through the use of like billboards that you can easily pass up and miss. Man, Mini Clip sure spent a lot of money to advertise out here in the desert. All right, next level. Buying all these billboards in the desert must have cost a fortune. It's really easy to get stuck on stuff in this game too, by the way. It's real easy to get stuck. Oh, awesome. Oh, radical. All right, next level. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have to back up. Robster says, can I ask you a serious question? Okay. If you eat yourself, do you gain twice your weight or do you disappear? I would say there'd be no change in weight. Because you're not, you're not, you're not changing the, the, your physical properties. You're just rearranging how your weight is distributed. So if you ate yourself, you would just be changing where your weight is is located. If that makes any sense. That's my take on it. And yeah, we can bullshit about stuff like that while playing this game. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Charlie says you would gradually become poop and disappear. I mean, that's just what I'm doing with my life right now. I like how none of those barrels exploded. <laughs> Robster says that is the most perfect answer I've heard and I've asked hundreds of people. <laughs> you gotta think outside the box. You gotta think outside the box on that one. Oh shit. Oh no, my truck. My truck. My truck. Come on. This this, this part's this is not part of the run. That's okay, we can still go to the next level. We're just completing all the races. All the races are already unlocked. <laughs> Spiderbat says, I love how this game puts in random screams every five seconds. Gotta have that fake crowd. And why, yes, I did just clip through that bridge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm coming back. <laughs> I saved it. I saved it. Okay. So every time I touch that truck's butt, I get a nitro. So I'm not supposed to pass that truck up. Because if, if, if you do, you soft lock the level. This is a good game. And this this is why. You need to you need to ramp off the truck to get over this to go up this loop thing. And then there's like another truck that takes off. I guess I'm supposed to keep up with them, but... Oh! The P-90! 
people's elbow. You guys see the ads for Trials 2 in the background? Buy this, buy this game. Buy Trials 2. Did you know that this game is $20 on Steam? This game that I'm playing right now is on Steam and it's $20 and Miniclip has it set so that it never goes on sale. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, I'm stuck. Game gives me a reset. All right. No, oh, there we go. There we go. There. Oh my God, this is miserable. There. I just enjoy playing bad games. And I enjoy speedrunning them even more. I gotta wait wait for this school bus full of screaming kids to hit hit the thing and blow up. Oh my god, the brakes! <laughs> Depending on how this race goes, we might be resetting and hearing that again. Now we're on the bungee cord. Which we have to get off of by hitting the bomb. I don't know why. I guess that's just supposed to be cool. Next race is called Freestyle. I don't think these guys know what Freestyle means. I like how Chad is like, this is not a $20 game. <laughs> well, Miniclip thinks it is. You can you can spend twenty bucks on on the on the Steam version, or you can go to the Gatorbox secret stash and get the promotional version for free. Because the promo was was one that they gave out, so it, they gave it out for free. Let's miss this jump. Jesus truck. I can drive on water. Clip through the bridge again. Like it ain't no thing. That was that was freestyle again, by the way. Oh right. Gotta be careful. Yeah, see the billboard in the back tells you you get the formula truck for getting gold on all levels. But it's unlocked by default in the in the version that I have, because I don't I don't have. Damn it! I'm not trying to go fast. I'm literally just easing on the accelerator. Fuck you, game. There, we made it. It's just that simple. Even when I'm losing, the game is still cheering for me. That keeps my keeps my inspiration up. Drive over some floating barrels. This doesn't necessarily feel possible. These are all things that monster trucks do.
See this truck, the, the the Formula One truck. I guess I could point out each of the each of the vehicles, the bonus vehicles, has a special feature. The Formula One truck goes faster than the others, than like your default trucks. So that's why I pick it. But that also gets me into trouble with some of the jumps and, and some of the things because this game was designed so poorly that these levels weren't designed with with these bonus trucks in mind. It's nitro time. That's what those signs say. Is that still Mini Clips logo? They still use that as their logo. It's been a long time. You know, I used to work for Mini Clip with, like once once upon a blue moon. Floating barrels, what is this? MXC monster truck special? <laughs> Kenny Blankenship's most painful eliminations of the day. Number one goes to Draco, who does a backflip triple twist into the into the sludge. I'm stuck. Sometimes I wonder, why is this game? Another pretzel bridge for you. Jumping over some of the other trucks with suspensions that don't seem to work right. With one of them just jumped and flew all the way out. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Flip, please. That's No, don't flip too much. Oh, fuck, no, I hit the wrong button. I had my button hovering over restart, not turbo. Because I'm so used to this level sucking. I'm getting, like, stuck on that car. That's okay, we can do it again. We did it once, we can do it again. Get on the mini clip sign. Get on the pretzel bridge. Jump on the trucks. Drive them over. Show them who's boss. Okay, good. I didn't get stuck between these two houses. So that's what I was afraid of. Really? Go, go, please, drive. Nitro is space, just in case you forgot. There's a handy sign right there to tell you. This is not a bottomless pit, believe it or not. You think you would think it might be. We're just, we just we've just left the course and we're just coasting. Okay, this level's this level is like 90% jank. This thing Yeah. Sometimes it, it sometimes it just it just eats your truck. Your wheels just stick inside the elevator. Oh, good, good. Okay, Let's try it again. Ah, cut it out. Twenty dollars, by the way. Twenty. Twenty of your hard-earned American dollars and this game can be yours okay 
come on. No more bullshit. Welcome to the Bounce Castle. <laughs> you guys... Chat's being vicious, saying, like, quality games. Oh, we're so close to getting out of here. We're not even facing the right way anymore. Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Let's skedaddle. We can do this. We can do this game. How does it how does it do that? How does it throw me backwards? Yeah, cheer for that. <laughs> Come on. I think that's it. We got it. Yes. We got it. We're out of here. All right, I'm not supposed to go that far. We gotta back it up. Hang on, I can't back it up. We gotta drive in here. Don't worry, there's still one more gimmick left. Let's see if, I, see if we can first try this. Easy every time, easy every time. No. First try. First try. First try. Oh, fuck. This level is pure RNG hell. Pure hell. This is this is the essence of game hell. Oh, that might be it. That might be it. That might be it. That might be it. That's it. That's it. First try. First try. Son of a bitch. Just getting stuck on everything. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I'm driving on the water again. Run, run five loops. Y'all like loops? This is a unique course. It's the only one like it in the game. Might be for the best. Going to the woods. Floating logs. Floating barrels. It's all the same. It's all the same crap. It doesn't work very well. Rolling logs. Ah, uh, yes. My favorite obstacle. Yes. Oh, damn it. is so bad.
I need the logs to be there. There. Here comes something fun. Now we're now we're we're pulling a log for reasons unknown. I mean, at least they're trying to mix up the gameplay. Next level, Rampo. Well, I missed the boosto. Just barely. I think I'm going in the pit. Again, this game is all about speed management. And then there's there's this. Somebody played Motocross Maniacs on the Game Boy. That's that's all I gotta say about that mess right there. Next level, kangaroo. Let's do it. I appreciate Electric Ray quoting MXC in chat while 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 we play this. I can't read every, every, everything he's he's typed, but it's funny. <laughs> Push this. Push it real good. Okay. I pushed it. Then I then I got to drive up. I got to drive up. Got to drive up. Got to drive up. I can make this jump. Push this. Yes. Yes. There it is. There it is. It's just that simple. That's all you got to do. I missed the turbo. That's okay. That's okay. I got this. We still got it. <laughs> I've gotten none of the nitros. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna get this one. There we go. Oh, yeah, that was so cool. That was so cool. Worth my 20 bucks right there. So we're on Gray Circus. We need to switch to the Mini Clip Monster Truck for this race only. Here comes some bullshit. You guys like bullshit? Come on, game. Come on, game. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, get me off this thing.
So coming up is precisely why we need to have this truck and not the Formula One. And I will show you when we get there. So right here, this game is so badly designed that the Formula One cannot complete this jump. Its front end will catch that thing every time. But the truck, you can you can force it over, the, over there. All right. So that on aerodynamics. It just can't complete the jump. Simple as that. It just keeps it just keeps bonking on it. So you have no choice but to use the regular truck for that course. Cuz this you can't use the school bus either cuz the wheelbase is so large, it can't back up and get that nitro. And you need that nitro to make that jump. And the pig doesn't fit either because it's too tall. So all three bonus vehicles cannot complete that stage. All of them. All three. Some bonus. More like boner. Pfft. Mini clip. This one you just have to go high. Yeah, there we go. Let's do it. This might be the last level. I think this is the last race. You gotta jump high. High like the devs were when making this. Did anybody playtest this game? I mean, what the fuck? God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> this fucking game. This fucking stupid truck game. <laughs> there. See, Piggy Ride is, is the code to get the unlock the pig. Well, I missed that nitro. Hopefully that's not a bad sign. Nope, it is. Even though I can clearly get out of there. All the way back here? Really? There we go. That's, that's time on... Uh, Monster Trucks Nitro. That's the, You see over here, it doesn't say next race. There's just a bunch of signs that say Piggy Ride. So, that's Monster Trucks Nitro in, in 29 minutes and 4 seconds. That's... Do I think if the devs made this a Happy Wheels type of game with crazy physics, would it have been better? Uh, it already kind of has broken physics, like with some of the hazards that, like, like the platforms, the moving platforms, and the signs you have to grind along, and things like that. So it, it already, it already has a certain level of jank to it. I think going full on Happy Wheels with it, though. I know in the other games, like flipping over, just was just like an automatic loss. And I know in Trials Bike, if you if you flip over, you fall off the bike and you got to restart. But with this one, um, I don't know. I don't know if giving it Happy Wheels style physics would have improved it. I think this 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 game is just is just cursed from the from from the from the start. Also, if you pay attention to that screen in the background, I don't know if, I don't know if you caught it, but that raft that the, the truck landed on. Remember how we couldn't land on the raft? We kept overshooting that jump. The raft that the truck landed on was a lot longer. So it's actually playing beta footage on the on that on that monitor, on that billboard back there. Just a little a little FYI. So at, at one point it was it was easier 
to jump onto that floating platform, but they intentionally, they intentionally screwed it up and made it harder. Why would you, why would you do that? What is, what, who hurts you? What's the matter with you? Anyways, I'm going back to read uh, uh, Electric Ray's MXC post. And my number one most painful elimination of the day goes to the driver of the formula truck. He just can't elevate to greatness and wishes he had just taken the stairs. That's when I was stuck on the elevator. And now it's time to play Log Drop. The object is to hop across the rolling logs or get a mouthful of our MXC sludge. What's our sludge for today, Ken? Well, that's runoff from the septic system at the Monster Jam Championship. <laughs> Right you are, Ken. <laughs> That's good. My number one most painful elimination of the day. I'll reset the clock. Because we do have a couple of donations that have come in. Hang on. Uh-oh. The alert's gone off. That's this. The bat signal's going off. Woo! It's, it, it, just give it a second and it, 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 it'll start to blink, okay? We've got $20 from Magic Beans who says, you deserve a refund. You've done more for this game than the devs ever did. That's in response to Monster Trucks Nitro. That's a little spicy. <laughs> and we've got $25 from Chade. No comment, but Chade is in the audience. Well, th thank you, Chade, and welcome to the stream. I'm, gl I'm glad you can make it. I really appreciate the support. Uh, th thank you for your for y'all's donations. And what does that what does that bring us up to? That brings us up to one, that brings us up to 1508. So that's another game challenge I gotta do. Because we've crossed a $100 threshold. So let me let me write that down. So now I owe you guys 10 challenges. So we're at $15.08 and 70 cents. And 70 cents. I like, I like the fact that every year we wind up with an and 70 cents at the end. Although I think I think the website is displaying $15.09. So it's uh, it, I'm not trying to be confusing. It's just to me, I, it says it shows the full dollar amount. But to you guys, it doesn't show the the the, the sense. It does. It, it just it cuts that off. So thank y'all for those donations. I really appreciate it. Uh, that that was hype for a game that doesn't get hype. So <laughs> we did it. Hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.